honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm going to cook another one of my favorite dishes. Starts with CH. It ain't chicken. Chili. It's about a thousand degrees outside, but we in the house and it's nice and cool. So, and Walter's happy that I'm back home and I'm cooking anything. I love me a good old pot of chili. Oh my. So, I'm going to use all this meat. I got the lean ground beef, so I don't have to be dipping out grease. This is the 93 lean, 7% fat. I'm using, I like beans in my chili, so I'm using the dark red kidney beans, the light red kidney beans, and some chili beans. Now my favorite beans for chili are the Joan of Arc brand, but they like $2 a can, so I got the store brand, great value. This works. I already cleaned off the tops. Okay, the chili powder was too expensive, so I got the taco seasoning. And I got my own chili powder to put in to add to this. This is basically the same thing. So taco seasoning and chili seasoning mix, they're interchangeable. Chili season this has a little more chili powder in it but this also has chili powder in it. I'm just going to add some more. Of course I'm going to add my garlic, onion, black pepper and sea salt. Not too much of this because this has salt in it. And I'm going to add a little crushed red pepper flakes. And I'll be adding this. Okay, so I ain't got to be chopping up bell peppers and jalapenos. I don't know why it got so. It's not focused. Oh, there it is. So I'm not going to let Walter see this ahead of time because he have a fit. Put it up for now, but he do watch my he does watch my videos. That's funny. And of course, with our uh, chili, we like oyster crackers. Okay, and I heating up the house, so I'll be using my electric skillet, Presto electric skillet. Here's the plug thing that goes to it. I'm gonna plug it in. I love my kitchen gadgets, y'all. You cook a good meal, you ain't got to be heating up your house. Okay, let's get started. Let me lower this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Lower it some more. 3.16 p.m. on a Tuesday. Okay. Turn it on first. Turn it up to say 300 degrees. And it don't take long to heat up. happened to my wooden ladle that somebody blessed me with. You can keep it in this drawer over here and it's not in here. It makes me upset. Now I'm going to use my wooden spoon to break this up. And this thing holds a lot. I think this is the 12 inch size. I bought this from Walmart went in the store and got it. They sell these on Amazon. 
do like $26, so it was a good buy, yeah. Um, this has a little divot in the corner so you can put the lid on. What wow, the spoon is still in there. See? Okay, I'm gonna open this stuff up while that's cooking. That was two and a half, no, two and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef. So you're supposed to use one packet of seasoning mix per pound of meat. But since I'm adding all these beans in there, I just add a little extra. And it will not be too salty or overly seasoned. It may be overly seasoned for some people. But not for us. You open up everything. Juice and all in here. I wanted to make some chili while I was in Mexico. They didn't want no chili, and it was 2,000 degrees there, and so humid. Oh my gosh, you ain't felt hot. You go to Mexico, and that humidity mixed with the heat, oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. The noise you hear in the background is the air conditioner. And I always season my ground beef after it's done, or almost done. If I were to put all of this stuff in here now, I wouldn't know when it was done. So this will color the meat. And I don't eat no raw meat. I ain't about that life. Well, the food turns out just fine when I season it after the meat is done. And if you want to put onions and bell pepper and all that in there now, you can. Chili is about one of the fastest things you can cook. That's how it's looking. So I'll be back when this is done and I'm adding other stuff. Okay. So almost done, but it's going to have a whole lot more cooking to do when I add the other stuff. So I'm adding the other stuff. Um, I'm going to start with some, what's this here sauce? I forgot to show it to you in the beginning. It adds a special twang. I'm going to put this camera back down so I can season it. Okay. Adding the seasoning packets. Oh yeah, whenever you add seasoning packets, you're supposed to add some kind of liquid. Now if I had chicken broth, I would add that. But I don't have any chicken broth. I'm just gonna add some uh, bottled water. Something else I like to add. I just thought of it. Let me put this water in here first. I can throw this jug away. Need 
more seasoning, but I'm going to add something else. Let me get this. I really like this. Yes, I put it in my chili. There's no chicken bouillon. It will not make my chili taste like chicken. And it's salty, so you don't need much. About a teaspoon. You see it? it adds a special flavor. Every little bit adds something. Not bad in bulk like this because I use it a lot. A lot, a lot. Smells good already. Okay, I'm gonna add the chili powder. Ain't no rhyme or reason, I just add it. Ain't no special amount. I'm adding this. I'm gonna add a little red pepper flakes. I'm always putting more in my bowl. Everybody don't have my palate for spicy food. And the beans, juice and all. That's the dark red kidney beans. This is the chili beans. It's thick. The juice in here is thick. Sometimes I use black beans, but I like the flavor of red beans better. Kidney beans. And these are the light red beans, juice and all. That ain't so secret. Chunky salsa it has everything in it that's chopped up in it already. Onions, bell pepper, jalapenos. Always smell it. Make sure it's fresh. I'm using the whole jar. And I'm going to rinse this out and get all that goodness out of here. Mm -hmm. Get some water. Wow, wow, 
wow, wow, wow, wow. What a neat. Red pepper. This ain't enough to make it really spicy. I'm going to add a little more of that chicken bouillon. Like I said, it adds a special flavor. So instead of adding a half a teaspoon, I'm adding a whole teaspoon. This is the other half. A little bit goes a long way. So don't overdo it. Mm. Keep pushing this away. Taste it again. All right, all right, all right. I make some good chili, y'all. My mama used to make good chili also. You know what I want? Celery seed because I didn't put no celery in here. All you need is a little touch, just a little. Celery seed, not celery salt. And I'm going to put that Tabitha, here it is. Tabitha Brown Sunshine seasoning. No salt in here at all. I can use it freely. And you're supposed to be shaking your seasonings over a steaming pot as it'll make your seasoning clump together. I'm telling y'all, and I'm doing it now. Look. It's good. I was blessed with this. One of my honeys. Let it simmer for a few. I'm gonna let y'all see it first. Yes. And I'm using a different finger each time I taste this. So I ain't putting my same licked on finger on this spoon. In case somebody was wondering. Let me show you. My chili. Mm -mm -mm. And I like mine kind of juicy. Some people like a real thick, stiff chili. I don't. This is the way I like mine because I like the broth. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes I actually eat it with bread so I can dip the bread in the juice. Okay, that's my thumbnail. Okay, food is done. Mm -mm -mm. That's all this stuff I put in here. This skillet holds a lot. Up. Got my little chili bowl I got from Walmart. Can't find my wooden ladle. That upsets me.
cheese up in here. Get these the rest of this pizza blend. So, I haven't been seeing the mozzarella and cheddar in the stores. Then I read on this, and that's what it is. Mozzarella and cheddar. Pizza blend. It's a great value. And some oyster crackers. my chili. I don't care if it is 90 something degrees outside. We ain't outside. Okay. And this is the Presto electric skillet. I didn't heat up my house. Here's my bowl. Okay. Y'all want to see me do the taste test? Okay. Just a minute. This is hot. Some of the cheese on there. It's piping hot, y'all. Let's see. Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't putting this in my mouth. Burn all my taste buds off. Mm -mm. Let this stay in the spoon for a few minutes while I say my goodbyes. I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate all my subscribers that have been with me for a long time, and I appreciate all my new subscribers. I really do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to add some red pepper. Put some hot sauce to my bowl. This is perfect. I ain't going to mess with the pot no more. Mm. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Mm.